Hello, welcome back to DOT. Today we're gonna to talk about turning your smartphone into a desktop. Yes, there's a bunch of different models out there. Our manufacturers, they have desktop models for their smartphones, and we're gonna cover those. Let's go. So one of the most popular ones out there that has been doing a long time is Samsung with Samsung DeX. Basically, you turn your smartphone into a desktop PC by plugging in a cable and then plug it into a monitor of some sort. And we got just that thing here. If you look at here, I've got a really nice portable monitor here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Samsung and I'm gonna plug it in. And the way that the Samsung set up is <laughs> really, it, they come default that way. You just plug in a monitor, that monitor happens to be turned on. So once I plug it on, plug it in, it should just turn that monitor right on and it'll become a desktop computer. Check that out. That's right off my phone. And the real cool thing about it is with this phone, you can continue to use it just like a phone by, <laughs> see there, I just got some messages. You can use it separately. See how it's not doing anything for the display and you can utilize it just as a phone. Now you could also turn it off and put it on the side while you continue to use your desktop. Now, when you go over here, you can see I've got a mouse hooked up to it as well as a keyboard and you can just use it like a regular computer. It's, it's really great here. In other words, let's open up YouTube here and YouTube is its own app, of course, and you can go full screen with it here. And I could play this video here and turn up some sound. And we're gonna do some testing on this thing and I'll give you a full review on this setup. Let's go. So this is the package. As you can see, the sound actually plays right through your phone in the Samsung phone, the Z Fold. It really sounds really good for a foldable. Uh, matter of fact, sounds better than the speakers that are on this portable computer. So that's one thing you can do. You can go full screen and play your apps here. And then let's go ahead and shrink that down. And let's say you want to open up a second app. Let's do Chrome, open up Chrome and check this out. You can take Chrome and you can make it snap to the side there. Look at that. Chrome is right on the side. Let's go home here to Chrome. So you got Google playing right here on this other side. And of course you can resize these apps to any way you want to. Uh, it can get kind of tricky, but you want to just drag and, and do that. And then if you want to open up an other app, let's open up the Play Store right there. And there's the Play Store and we can expand that one, go here to the side. And then if we want to resize it here, we can do that. Let's resize it. And you can move it over here. So you can do multiple apps this way if you want to, which is pretty nifty. And if you want to, you can actually place a call right here. Of course, it'll all go through your phone itself. So let's say you're actually using this monitor and you're doing stuff and you get a phone call, you can accept it right there on the display yourself and then pick up your phone and answer it if you want to, or just place your phone on speakerphone and handle it that way. Hey, I want to take a quick second and thank you for hanging out with me as we test the desktop models on these different smartphones. If you got something out of this video, do me a favor, smash that like button down below because it really does help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Let's get back to the video. So there's quite a lot of versatility using this. So this app seems to run really smooth. You know, you got your home button right here and then your recent apps button here that you can open up. So it's it's got a lot of stuff. And then your back button here, open up gallery. Here's my gallery, let's go full screen with that. I don't have a whole lot of stuff here on the Samsung, I don't think, but you can see here, there, there's your gallery. Well, there you go. And this was a cruise that I went on and we went on a really nice trip. This is a beautiful monitor, by the way. I'll put a link in the description down below or you can check it out on my website. There's a great discounts going on with this right now if you use some promotional code. So there are a lot of good uses for a nice big display, especially if you're, you're traveling. And let's say, for example, let's go ahead and open up the browser again, and let's go full screen with it. Let's search for GOT, good old tech. Whoops, can't even spell it. There it is right there, goodoldtech.com. It'll bring it right up. And there's my website. Now, if you haven't done it already, I recommend you check out my website. Here you can see I have all the articles that are from the current videos that I put out and they're right here on the front page. You can select them here. Of course you can read about GOT. So right here, the last video I put out was on the Z Fold 7 versus the Pixel 9 Pro or the 10 Pro Fold. So you can read all about it here. Then of course, within the article, if you want to, you can go ahead and select 
the photos here and check out the photo gallery. These are the photos that we showed off in that video. So you can look, look at all those a little bit closer. And there's just a whole lot more that you can do right here on the website. And then of course the products, you don't want to forget the products. We have products here that I have reviewed and you can see them all right here. And I have the links to them as well as promo codes right there on the website. So let's get back to the video at hand. When we're talking about desktop models from the smartphones. So check this up. Another thing I want to show you here, right from this monitor that you see there on the screen, if we flip this backside up, you can see I have a smartphone right here, which is actually the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and it is also a desktop model, and you can use the phone separately by itself, just like you can with the Samsung. And then I have a mouse here, where you can control everything. And you see here, just like desks, you got a mouse, you can connect it, and you can open up apps just like you did there. Let's go to the App Store, let's open up Chrome. Check that out, there's Chrome right there, and will it snap to the side? Yes, it snaps to the side. It doesn't go all the way up to the top for some reason. And let's go ahead and open up my uh, YouTube. There we go, and will it snap to the side here? They're not snapping like we did on the Samsung, so that's interesting. I thought they did at one time, but it must not be very consistent here on the Google. That's still a work in process, and I believe it's still considered a beta model. But as you can see, you can do similar things here. And of course, if you want to go full screen on any of these, you can do so by hitting the square, and there's the full screen. And let's say you want to go ahead and click on another app. Hello, we're I'm play. OT. Today we're going to talk about the Z Fold 7. And there you go. And then if you want to go full screen, with YouTube, like always, hit the square and there's the full screen. Now, for some reason, I don't know why it's not taken up the full screen on this thing. Even if you press this, let's see, what does this do? Yeah, it just restores it back to the smaller size there. And resize, what does resize do? Hmm. So you can't really go full screen on this for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but there you have it. And you can't really go full screen on the Samsung either. It didn't allow that either. So as you can see there with the Google, it's still a little buggy. Samsung's been doing a lot longer, I think way back since the S9. So Dex has been around for a few years where Pixel is just getting going. And it's still, I believe, in beta. But it's still a good feature idea. If you look at it, it's really nice. It has the dock station just like Samsung. And so I'm thinking that they're pretty much in the same ballpark as far as design and features. So from what I understand is that Samsung and Pixel have collaborated together so that Pixel can get this desktop thing going. And so they're pretty similar, as you can see, with the docks both being down there the same. They're both using the buttons to navigate. You get a little more special features here on the Samsung, as you can see down here below. It looks really clean and on the pixel it's all pretty basic i haven't quite figured out how to get a background on this thing yet but i'm sure there's a way to do it so let's open up this other browser here and you can see i don't have a keyboard connected so you get a pop-up keyboard when you want to type something in so let's go ahead and start the browser there we go it already knows where i want to go <laughs> so there you go there's the difference and let's see if we go to the same product page are they going to look the same Actually, it looks a little better on the Samsung. It takes up more of the screen where here on the Pixel, not quite so much. And you can't really go full screen on either one of them. So as you can see here, for the real desktop experience, Dex is the one to beat right now. Samsung's got it down because, you know, let's face it, they've been out a lot longer and Pixel is just now getting into the industry. Let's take a look at another one. I have the Honor Magic V5 and it also has their own magic desktop so let's check that out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and unplug the pixel here so you take the honor magic and you just plug it in here and let's see what it does it should automatically connect and there you go and then you should get your full display here oh it went into phone mirroring so there's a button right up here you can press it and you go into settings and you can change it right here instead of doing phone mirroring you can go here and you tell it to go desktop mode and then watch what will happen. You get a full desktop with a mouse pad right here. And there's my mouse pad. All right, so now I've got the mouse right there. 
this is kind of nice the way this is set up here. You can see everything. Okay, so there we go. There's our mouse. And we can go ahead and open up an app. Let's go ahead and start with YouTube. Wow, now that's full screen. Check that out. Let's go ahead and go to my videos here. And let's just go ahead and play a video. Welcome back to GOT. Today we're going to... And you can see the sound. You perfect dual screen monitor. It's quite big. And we're going to do some testing on this thing. And I'll give you a full review on this setup. Let's go. Wow, now that was louder than the other two phones, so the volume on the Magic V5 is really nice. And I'm kind of liking the way this thing is set up so far. Now let's go full size. I'm going to turn the volume down, and let's play. Now look, check that out. This is actually going true full screen. Why didn't the others do it? I don't know, but there's a full screen on this. And as you can see, that video looks really nice. So how do I get out of this? You go up to the top here. And you can make it smaller, exit out. Let's do a couple different apps. Let's open up photos, double tap, just like the computer does. Let's see, will it snap to the side? Yep, it snaps to the side, so it beats pixel on that. So that's pretty nifty. And I can open up the gallery here too. So I've got both galleries here. Can I drag it? Okay, double tap to get it to hold, just like you do with a mouse, I guess. So there you go. You've got, um, it's working very smooth. I like it. Very responsive, very smooth. Go full screen. You get true full screen apps on this. So that's pretty nifty. Let's go ahead and open up three. And then um, let's go ahead and find a browser. Where are my browsers? I don't like that it's not in alphabetical order. They're just kind of all spread out there. But that's something that maybe I can fix over time. Oh, what the heck. We'll just open up eBay since it's there. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's take this thing and move it to the side. And let's go ahead and open up the gallery again here. Let's put this over here to the side. And then if I go down here, I can open up. Let's see, that's the photo Google gallery. I can open up my gallery. And what does it do? That went full page. Let's see if I shrink it down. What are, no, that's full page. All right, let's shrink it down again. And okay, there it is. It went to one side is what happened. Okay, so there it is. There's three apps. And of course, I'm guessing that you can go ahead and resize these if you want to. Let's see here. Yep, there's that one. Let's see, can I split it? Get that little crosshairs here. It's kind of difficult to line it all up perfectly, but there you go. You know, you can hook up a mouse to this again and do all this, but there you go. You can resize them if you want. So let's go ahead and resize this. Well, you gotta double tap everything that you wanna do. Yeah, there you go. And then you take this one if you want, move it in the center. Anyway, you can see here, get you get the idea. You can resize them any way you want, which is really nice. Same as Samsung. And one more thing I want to tell you about this monitor. Up until now, they've been connected USB-C to mini HDMI. And when you do that, it becomes an extended monitor from your phone. But if you use USB-C to USB-C in this monitor, now the monitor is actually a touch screen. So you can actually touch it and maneuver everything around just like that. And you can see I can scroll here and let's keep on scrolling. Let's see if I can do a nice image here that I can pop up on full screen. This guy was actually at least 50 feet away from me when I took his photo here. And I started talking to him and then he started talking to me. As you can see there, his ears are back. I started talking to him, his ears opened up and he started talking back. So that was kind of fun. Anyway. So this is a really nice monitor where you can actually turn it into a touch screen and make your smartphone screen even bigger. Well, there you have it. Three manufacturers and three approaches to a desktop model for the devices. Now, I like all three. Now, Pixel, because it still is, seems to be in a beta phase and has quite a bit more glitches than the other two, I think I would kind of pass on that as far as my favorite. But between these two, you've got the, the Dex, which is really works really well and is very familiar to the phone itself. You've got the app drawer here. You can go through and pick your apps as well. 
and the full screen approach is not quite as good, I think, as the Magic is. I like the Magic desktop as far as full screen. Now, the Magic software seems to be pretty clean and not not so glitchy, you know, especially with using this mouse pad and, of course, the approach to apps and everything. So it's very familiar and very easy to just pick up and start using. But I tell you, I think that Samsung is doing it just a little bit longer and they have it perfected just a little bit more than the rest of them. So as far as a more, more mature setup, Dex has a beat in my opinion. Now it's time to hear what you think. You've seen all three models, which one looks best to you? Do you use any of these desktop models and what is your use case scenario for it? Is it something you use on a regular basis? Share that in the comments down below. And if you haven't seen these two phones do battle, check out this video here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further content. Until next time, have a wonderful day and God bless.